Hello everyone, my name is Ninja Dubfire and welcome to Nomoria episode 53. This is version 0.8.27 and the title screen has received a gigantic facelift and no, I don't mean the ones that grandmas get that scare little children. I actually mean one that just brings in new stuff into the title screen. We can see there's a world loaded in the background or a small portion of a world. Um, and there's also this gigantic new um, icon or banner that is used um, for the title screen and used to represent Nomoria, in fact, anywhere it may go on the interwebs or anywhere in the press or whatever you may call it. Um, this looks like it was forged deep in a known blacksmith, um, just with some really good metals. It was forged together. Um, we can see these brass screws have just been screwed straight into um, that panel and securing it to our title screen. We don't want it to fall off or get wobbly um, or do anything crazy like that. So yeah, this update has been um, a bit of a different, um, a different of an update because it has obviously included some um, menu changes and it also ch changed um, a style of music. You can go into your audio now and you can see there is a music style. Now you can play the classic chip tunes um, style that we've been hearing pretty much um, since the start of development and you can also switch to orchestral. So instantly everything is calmer. It's more in fact a classical style like a, in a classical music period and it's really really nice to listen to so you can switch between the two whenever you feel like um, and that is new in this update there's also things like plank stairs and we will get to that very shortly so let's go ahead and load up the world so here is the grizzly inkling we are in the sixth day of fall in year two and we can go ahead and load that up and we're going to see our beautiful world come to life with this fantastically soothing music that is playing in the background. Now there have been things that are added like plank stairs, um, there's new engraved walls and floors, there's also a bone wall and floor, there's also a thatch walls and floors, there's picket fences, there's dresses and cabinets, so there is a whole lot of um, cosmetic stuff that's been added. There's also bone shirts and skull helmets, that's right, you can turn this, this skull into a helmet. I'm not sure where that is done. Um, maybe it is actually still done in the armorer. Let's go and have a look. Um, a helmet. Let's see. So we can... I'd, obviously this needs armor plates. So you need to make armor plates to actually make any piece of armor. So that isn't where we actually create. Actually, could I make armor plates out of... No, we can't make armor plates out of those, bro those bones. So I guess maybe the skull is ready to actually be... Um, placed on I'm not totally sure we'll probably have to find maybe there is actually a new um, a new workshop that accrued no crude workbench in the military no training grounds miscellaneous um, bone carver okay so the bone carver let's go ahead and create that we need um, a table a chair and a knife okay so where do we create the knife the knife is in the stonemasons workshops the chair um, crude workbench or a carpenter's so we need chair table and then the knife let's go ahead and queue up um, not in the sword it's actually going to be done in the, well, that's a sawmill as well. This is the carpenter. So, okay, we've got torches in there. So let's queue up, um, ooh, sticks. So I guess we need sticks uh, to actually make, to whoa, there's so much. Oh my, oh, here is where hilts are actually made. So hilts are actually wooden on the tools that you make and the haft and the bellows and the training dummy and the crossbow stock. Okay, this is all really awesome stuff that has been changed um, with, I think, the last patch. Um with the, the gigantic um, update to crafting that we discussed um, in the last episode. Now we're going to see that we are going to have to create, um, let's just create about two, three chairs in case we need to make some, some more things. And ooh, we've got bed frames, we've got bed. Okay, so we'll also need to create about three tables. Now, oh, that's actually created four. Now you can see in the chairs, you need planks and you also need sticks. So I guess we're gonna make a craft two um, recipe for the sticks. So two times stick, let's go ahead and just use um, pine planks because that is the least, um, the least expensive thing to use. And we're gonna craft that to, let's say if we have about 20 sticks, um, maybe even f oh, 14. Let's just go with 14. That's a number that sounds pretty nice to me. We're going to leave those sticks there. So if we move that up, um, torches are going to get done. Or oh, actually, sticks really should be done first because you need them for what essentially 
most things that you actually create, um, except for the chair, the chair is only made out of planks. Um, okay, so it apparently sticks aren't used for as many things that I thought, but sticks are used for torches, so we do need to keep sticks um, in a relatively high um, number, even though it is only 14, but you know, um, that's just the way that it goes. We can see that everyone has dropped a shit ton of armor sitting here. It actually looks kind of creepy, like they're, um, there's basically a walking, ooh, this, this orchestral music. I'm, I'm really, ooh, this is, I love this music, the, the composer for this game, he's absolutely fantastic, it might be a she, I don't actually know, isn't, this is that, that classic tune, isn't it, okay, um, we're just gonna stop worrying about that, um, and we can see that we are still getting these walls inside here replaced and stuff. Now there was um, a comment left that said the Iron Hammer has become legendary. I got that message um, uh, recently in an episode and I thought it was maybe because um, someone crafted a really, 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 really awesome hammer, but it isn't actually that. It is actually when a hammer um, gets enough kills or is basically used to get enough kills. Look at this, someone just left their glove? Two gloves. God, why are they leaving that around? I don't know why people are stripping absolutely naked. Um, maybe they like sleeping naked. Um, actually, no, because there are people sleeping in their armor, so that doesn't seem to be what's happening. I'm not sure. Um, there's a weird thing where... Oh, God. Look at... So we can see that these people are going completely insane. Um, we can see there's nomads, there's soldiers, and everything. Are they eating here? I don't understand what they're doing there. Um, maybe they're they're trying to look for armor, but armor stored in like here. We can see people are actually um, hauling that armor and placing it into here. Let's actually check up and see if there's enough room in all of these. We've got 30 out of 32. Um, these all seem to be applewood crate. There's still some in le left in that. There's still left in that. That's full, and that is almost full. So I guess we can safely probably. Um, Go ahead and just extend this area to be a little bit bigger and to include um, a little bit of this um, area here as well. And this music is just... I I just love it. Okay, so the... Whoa, look how big the apples are once they've been picked. That is awesome that those apples have been picked. Now um, those trees can start growing the next batch. There's a lot of food. There's only 65 drink actually sitting in the kingdom at the moment. Starting to think that um, this is going to be a bit of a problem, maybe, if these people don't actually get out of here, because we have... How many people do we have here? We've got uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six... Yes, we've got six people here just um, essentially dancing around and having sort of a bit of a spasm attack. Um, I'm a little bit worried about them. I really don't want them to just be left unattended. I'm so, Maybe I should... Um, oh, God... I don't know what to do about this. Maybe I should just go ahead and remove the designation that's actually there. Okay, so that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Can I deconstruct what is there? No, I can't deconstruct what is there. Um, can I cancel the job? I can't cancel the job. That's going to be a problem because that's like more than half of our military or something. At least half of our military is actually sitting in that one tile. Um, spazzing out a lot and I, d I don't have any indication of what they want apart from drink um, I, I guess they they want drink but um, there should be drink in some stocks like around here I'm not sure if there is actually gonna be much in these um, in these crates because I mean these barrels because um, we haven't got the distillery going too fast at the moment I'm starting to think that maybe we've got our, all of our drink when we sold it to the trader, it's just gone. I think I just want to see what happens here. Um, if I jump to too many conclusions and start thinking, look at that person just went, com that person went naked, then he put on his armor, and then I, I don't know, maybe they're, wow, look at that. Okay, something very, very strange is happening. Maybe it's because of... Let's remove the designations that are all around... The, okay, so this is the... Okay, if I remember what these things are, that's the bandages, that's probably the food or the drink. Is that going to get them to stop spazzing out? How about I remove... Well, how about I remove 
um, this ramp next to them? Is that causing them? Should I dig out the lapis that's around them? They just seem to be very confused about what is actually going on. So let's try and, I don't know, give them a helping hand. Try and get those walls out of there. Maybe they just got stuck on something. But they definitely don't know what they're doing. Um, so there's a, like a pile of armor that's actually sitting there. And they're all indicating that they do want to drink. These people are going to get exhausted and they might pass out. And really bad stuff might happen. And there's evil music playing. So we can assume that the goblins probably on their way. Or whatever they may be. I don't know, like... These people, what what are they doing? Can I deconstruct... I can't deconstruct those. Um, I can't remove the designation of those. Can I cancel the job? Can't cancel the job on those. Hmm. Oh, a goblin has been spotted. Okay, so let's maybe see if... Or oh, he's dual wielding the axes. Let's see if maybe... Should we wait for him to come to us? Oh no, there's a breach. There's a breach. We have to directly attack him. Um, right now, the Goblin Fighter. Let's go ahead and attack him. It's a female, actually. So she's not going to have a very good day. Okay, so that's actually moved. Um, another Goblin has been spotted as well. So you can see the military is rushing in. What the hell is happening here? This person, um, the Medic Caretaker, is actually carrying around some armor, but he's not actually wearing it. Someone's hurt. Um, hoses blood. Okay. So... What... What? Okay, there's just a big battle going on right now. It's very confusing, but there... Oh my god, there is blood everywhere. That was the goblin. A goblin has died. And I think the second one has just died, or it is... Yeah, it's still in battle. We can... If we turn it around, we can still see the goblin somewhere down here. There is a lot of blood. Um, we can see hoses actually ran back here to get the bandages and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and while that's happening actually, just have the game paused and designate these areas for stockpiles again. So we're going to keep these stockpiles at the one priority and I'm going to call this the soldier um, food at the entrance basically so I know what that is. Let's go ahead and go to the food. We can see there's bone needles here. Um, we can obviously create them with bones. I don't know what they're going to be used for. Maybe sewing? Maybe you need needles for sewing. That would definitely make a lot of sense. So we can see in the food, every fruit... Um, I guess we can accept eggs. There's no real reason we shouldn't be. And actually here we should be accepting everything. Um, because we definitely want sandwiches to be near um, those wonderful guys. So we're going to go ahead and leave sandwiches and eggs and fruit to be stockpiled in there. And we're also going to designate another stockpile for where this used to be. And I think that was actually... Th this was bandages here, this 3 by one Bump that up to priority one as well and make sure that we actually have um, those bandages going into there. So we've got that completely set up um, the way that it used to be and we don't have people that are actually stuck on it. So we can only just wait... Okay, so the goblin has died. And... Oh my god. Oh, people are... No, why are you back there? I don't understand why you're there. I assume it's for drink, but we can see someone's actually taking a rest um, in the hospital here. Someone with a great top hat. If we just turn the view, we'll be able to see that it is um, Dan Lick, the medic kit. Wait. No, that's not, that's the wrong, is that the wrong tile? Someone, okay, maybe the medic caretaker actually got involved in that battle and he's actually being hurt or was hurt. Um, we can see that there's, um, so Wiggly Bits is actually in, um, a bed as well. This is very troubling. I don't know what to do about this, this crazy thing that's happening here. Alright, so there seems to be a couple of bugs going on, um, in this start of this episode because, again, we can see that these guys are completely spazzing out, moving up and down, like, on this same block like crazy. It appears to be some soldiers it appears to be like because generally these this should be like um an extra three for each of these two an extra three gnomes for each of these two um training grounds so they are obviously up here and that's probably all of those people are soldiers and that makes me think that maybe there's a bit of an issue with um when the soldiers aren't actually training as in like in battle with a partner i, I don't even know because a training ground should be able to hold maybe more than one battle like at a time i'm not because uh, i swear i used to see see like 
these people have stopped battling right now. She's gone up there. Um, she's going, okay, she's going to get a drink. So that's not too difficult for her. She's going to get um, a sleep, a snooze as well. So I don't, I don't see what the issue is. I'm just going to basically build um, uh, this. Actually, I can use this hotkey. I'm actually going to build the stone back up. Um, oh, not bauxite. Whoops. It's actually got to be the lapsazuli. And go ahead and close that off again. Now we are closing off this gap that was um, just breached earlier from those goblins. And we're also going to um, see all, all this replacing of the walls being done eventually. And if we scroll up, we can see this um, staircase right here actually does go pretty much all the way to the top of the castle. Um, I've only removed the stairs right near, um, right at the um, top so that uh, enemies can't actually go through this at the moment. Um, which also means I can't access the castle through that as well. Yes, um, that's that's quite obvious. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to basically cut off this area from um, any enemies. And it's going to be a bit of a tricky process because actually, um, we've just had a fight. So it's probably a good time to actually put that stairs back. I think it's the three note four hot key. Um, make it out of any type of stone. It does not matter to me. We go there, place it like that. And I can't even see where that hole is. Um here but okay let's just go ahead and deconstruct like a lot of these stairs because they are just making whoop i got to scroll down they, these these are confusing the hell out of me um and if they're not being used to deconstruct the um the floors above okay so we can see that um some of these simply are not needed so we've rebuilt those stairs here and actually there might be some access Oh, no, there isn't actually access through um, here on this level um, So we've got those stairs done and we're gonna get these deconstructed as well We're gonna go ahead and get this terrain and remove these ramps here So that'll actually cut off any access from the outside We'll also just do actually we won't do those because we don't need to worry about um, those ones in fact and if we go to the other side, we can see that it's actually like blocked off already. So we can um, just go ahead and create a wall. Um, we'll just use um, just just some soil right now um, because oh it, wait that does have a floor. Oh there's actually wait no there isn't actually something there. I was just on the wrong layer. So we'll go ahead and get that um, replayed, and we can see the builders actually coming up here, and we can see these gnomes are actually um, cutting down these ramps. It must take a lot of work. Um, I don't think they actually have shovels. Shovels aren't an item in the game, so they're probably doing it with their hands. Um, they might be doing it, you know, like the, the dog the dog way in between their legs and they're like spraying it out. Um, I could just imagine if there was, you know, like a few gnomes working together, they would just be spraying themselves constantly with dirt and stone and just really sort of hurting each other. But again, um, I think they're probably smart enough to maybe not do that. But um, this music, I don't know. Something about this music is just... It's... Oh, I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, let's um, just watch these guys destroy those ramps and we will be able to just build um, walls and basically wall off this entire area from enemies and only have access to it through the kingdom. Um, and we're also going to go ahead and whoop, we don't want to do that. We actually want to go to agriculture. We need to fell, um, actually just fell all of these trees because I guess we do need some more trees. So we'll do these, uh, that bunch of trees. Also go to agriculture and go ahead and forage um, anything that is left on this layer. Um, that seems to be it. So that is great. Now this staircase here is actually being used to deconstruct all of this. Now this is a tricky situation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, cancel this job here to create that wall, um, or oh, it's actually a floor, and then just go ahead and build and make a um, staircase, stairs up. And we can see that we'll just um, we'll just make it out of our dirt and place it there, so then that can be deconstructed, and then the rest of this can continue. Um, so yeah, I can. I think it's my four. I think it's my five hotkey. I can actually remove um, all these floors here. So that's going to start getting done, and then we can slowly move up to the next layer. So yeah, we got these strawberries being um, taken from those plants. We can go ahead and remove more of these floors because that is exactly what we're here for. And we can see that um, this floor over here got removed, so we can go ahead and just deconstruct that staircase. Whoop, it's actually on the wrong layer. We need to go back down here and actually go cancel job on the one that's incorrect. And we're also gonna go ahead and mine through all of this as well. 
Um, that's actually gonna basically open this up again, but we'll just um, recreate that as well. And we also wanna go to deconstructing. Oh God, I keep doing this on the wrong layer. Um, deconstructing on that level um, to just get rid of that staircase. So now we can actually go um, and rebuild this wall make it out of dirt. We can see there's like a shit ton of um, of new walls. There's thatch walls, there's bone walls, um, there's water engraved wall, moon engraved, spiral engraved, star engraved. There, there's just so much more stuff that you can do and I assume that uses, yeah, that does use blocks. Um, and you can also oh, straw. So does straw come from the, um, the wheat that you grow? I assume that it would. And bones obviously use um, just two bones to make a bone wall. Let's go ahead and actually make a bone wall and see just what it looks like. Um, oh, look at that. That's like I've got a funky little concave in the actual wall there. So there's definitely more decorative stuff in this update, which is definitely good to see because a lot of people do like doing that kind of stuff. It is very important to them. Um, it is important to me. Yeah, I will say that, but I won't say that it's like, oh my God, if this game doesn't have the decorating, I'm not going to ever be playing it. Um, that's really not the case. Um, for me, at least, that's just an opinion or um, a preference. So yeah, we've got those trees cut down and we'll actually need to destroy this ramp here. Um, so that's going to have to get removed because that is again, another access point. And I think we will just go ahead and see people keep dropping axes wherever they do stuff. Um, they're really, really untidy, these, these bunch of gnomes. So let's go ahead and actually just rebuild a wall um, out of that dirt and just place it on the right level and close that off. There's going to be no access at all from up here. Um, the higher layers, they're a different story, of course. Um, but we will get to them um, pretty shortly. Now that's what, there we can see that is the bone wall, just so we can um, get a feel for what it looks like for when we're building with it in the future. That's pretty damn schnazzy. It kind of reminds me of like some some mason masonry stone um, carving, but it's white, so it's definitely different. I don't know if there's actually a white um, stone in this game. I don't think I've seen one. I've seen grey, um, and I've seen blue, and I've seen orange, and well, I don't know if I've seen orange. Um, but this color right here, this maroon, I've seen all those colors, but again, not any um, ones that look quite like those bones. So we're going to slowly get these completely deconstructed and then we can go on and move up to these higher layers and get them all um, destroyed. So I just saw, um, we can see this guy right here is actually running to this clump of dirt and actually picking it up. Now, I don't need those pieces of dirt. Um, I did give away a lot of dirt to the, the merchant when he actually came. And we can see this is the dirt stockpile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that designation completely. We can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven clumps um, of dirt there. So that's like seven times um, 64, which is too much dirt for me to um, actually care about the real number. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and designate the area again for a stockpile, but it's only gonna have like, I don't know, six, yeah, about six blocks um, for that dirt. So we're just gonna make that um, call, we're gonna make sure that mouse cursor is actually in the box. We're gonna call it dirt and it's gonna actually go to um, goods, duh, 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 duh. Is it actually, oh, it's soil right here. So dirt and clay, I guess can go in there both. It doesn't really matter to me. And those are gonna get moved like pretty quickly into those because um, if you have a stack um, of dirt of 64 by 64, um, I guess it can be any number. I'm not to not totally sure. It might have to be a full stack. Um, I really don't know. You can, you can just get those moved over like instantly. Like it only takes one trip. It doesn't actually take 64 different trips to actually move that whole thing. So there's actually two bits of, um, oh, don't worry about those, these two bits of, um, these dirt actually sitting here. That's not too much of a worry because we will use that and then constantly have these um, six six slots actually used for that. So, okay, so we've got like a lot of stone stockpiles here as well. Now I'm gonna basically do the same thing. Okay, so we've got crates here. This is, um, this is a bit of a problem because I don't think crates, crates take blocks. I don't think they take, um, yeah, crates take blocks, but they don't actually take um, dirt or stone because stone stacks upon itself on that block and dirt only, um, and these these actual crates only hold 32, so it's like not a smart thing um, space-wise to actually be doing that. Uh, so I'm gonna try to try deconstruct, yeah, we're gonna try to deconstruct all of these because they're basically unutilized um, right where they are, just there. And I'm also going to, well, 
I need to remove the designation for this whole um, stone. So we've got like a lot of stone at the moment and it gets turned into blocks as it um, basically filters through the system. So I'm just going to designate an area for that stockpile to be about that big, you know, like that seems like it's going to be enough to hold all that we can ever use. So we're going to create this to be called stone. The priority is going to be about two. Um, we don't want stone to be like a super duper high thing. Actually, we're going to put it down to three uh, because uh, we don't want people doing too much um, stuff there. So we can see in the stone, um, in this stone section, I assume these the chisels and the knife blades and the knife and the saw blades, I assume they're going to get actually moved into a tool section. Um, the tool section down here, um, or oh, we can actually see that there's a limit to how many things I can have open, so I'd have to close some of these upper sections to actually get to that bottom, but don't worry. Um, we're actually just going to take raw stone in here and obviously ignore all of these chisels and bellows and crazy stuff. Um, bellows are the things that actually blow air into um, into a furnace and stuff like that, I'm fairly sure. These little things here. I always used to think they were umbrellas when I ever used to see them, like in a, in a movie or a TV show. I'd see them and just be like, why are people using umbrellas to blow air into their fireplaces? But I don't know. Um, that's just the way that I interpreted it as a little stupid kid going meh 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 and basically not knowing what I'm talking about because obviously they're not umbrellas, they're actually a special item used for putting air into a fire to make it hotter and burn better. Anyway, um, if you didn't know that, you know, that's a brand new brand new thing that you've just learned. It's a, that's what a bellow does, just um, aerates a furnace. So we can see that um, this floor is getting deconstructed fairly quickly. We can actually see that we have some trap bases, actually two sitting here. So we're going to go ahead and get the machine shop to create another spike. Um, oh, it's actually in the queue already. We just don't have any bars at the moment. So I guess that is definitely um, a big warning sign that we should definitely be doing some more mining um, on whatever levels that we decide to do it on. So now down on this um, minus 10, it's still not getting lit up with torches. The builders are doing so much. This is a, uh, it's a bit of a problem because if the beetles spawn anywhere in here and they start multiplying in there, it's going to be like a really, really tough thing. I think, hmm, I think I actually want to just go ahead and wall off. I'm going to keep a, like a close eye on what's actually happening um, so people don't actually get trapped. So if we wall off every section, we can actually use the tab key and see any parts that are dark enough to spawn stuff and just cut them off um, wherever they may be. So cut that area off and also that area. So once all of those get done, I'm going to finally um, block off this part because as long as people can access um, that area, they can go through all through to these and they won't get locked in um, once uh, until I basically um, put this one in. So we can see that there's a worker rushing down here. It's really quite a long um, or a big area for him to be working in. It's gonna take him a little bit to get to all of these. So whilst he is actually doing that, we're gonna scroll back up to where the castle was um, or where the castle is going to be. Okay, we'll use the tab key and actually turn that off. We can see this person is deconstructing this as we watch. Um, he's actually doing it quite slowly. Actually, my tab key took away my, oh, okay. So so that's a bit of a conflict in my um, in my controls there, actually. All right, so now I can actually toggle my darkness um, meter um, without actually taking away my um, my interface. So we're going to go ahead and keep this guy working here. He's actually going to go ahead and haul that downstairs while another guy actually comes up here. And my God, is he quick? What is this guy drinking? I don't know what it is, but um. He's basically insane, and we're going to get him to... Ah, oh, so people actually... Yeah, that's. I think that's maybe a bit of a problem with the way that, um, that queuing up works at the moment. I mean, he might have had something to, important to do, um, but I think he actually, like, needed to go all the way back down. Yeah, see, it's the same guy. Um, I think he actually needed to go back down to the Great Hall and basically just reassess what he's doing. Um... Or maybe, I don't know what it is, I, don't, I don't really don't know what's happening there, um, because different people seem to be coming up, so I guess it's more complicated than I thought, um, and I really can't 
actually blame the game for being that way. So we're going to see this person hopefully deconstruct this before she actually gets deconstructed upon. There we go, that's perfect. So you can see that we have this layer completely void of any flaws um, above it. And that is a really good thing to see. Now if we scroll back down, we can see um, that these, these people still are spazzing out and possibly having seizures um, from all the bright lights that they are seeing. There's actually might be a crazy party going on right there that I just don't know about and there's it's VIP and they didn't invite me and I mean I'm not gonna say that I'm not kind of kind of disappointed and sad that I didn't get invited but anyway um, to the more important things um, in our lives okay so we can see that the distillery has been lit up um, and it is set to create wine and beer and we don't have we've only got nine drink at the moment I've only just realized that and that's why I've definitely fired up the distillery and it doesn't seem that anyone is actually working on it if we just wait here for a little bit we can see no one's moving back and forward from it um, there should be no reason why that isn't getting done I guess this stockpile, this definitely accepts um, food, um, it, it just accepts any type of drink, as we can see there, and it, it, nothing is happening. I mean, if I open this distillery up, um, it's not suspended, it's on priority 5, if we move that up to 4, um, I guess that'll make a bit of a difference. But this, this other distillery here, the main one, is actually on priority 1, and it's not being used. I don't, I don't know why, it's lit up, but it's not... It's not actually being used. It's it's really confusing. Um, so I've actually gone and started the the project to build a brand new well here. See that well um, has been lit up and there's um, some materials moving in slowly to it. And again, oh, I actually yeah, this this pickaxe here. I've just been watching this for you know just about you know 15 seconds, and it's it seems that for some reason these people uh, keep running up and touching this pickaxe. I mean, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I could only assume that they they find some sort of luck um, or some sort of good spirit from it. Uh, that's that lit that's literally the only explanation I could think of as to why they would constantly be people coming and touching this pickaxe, never picking it up, just leaving it where it is and touching it. That's, I think there's a bit of a weird, um, there's a weird thing going on. See, how many people are coming to touch this pickaxe? Uh, what, what is, what, the, even the builder that's working on this took a two second break to go, oh, 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 touch, mm, let's go back to work. Uh, I guess if that's what they have to do, we can see I've created a new well, um, and the reason I did that because maybe I thought that the well, the, the first well that I made has bugged out and stopped working for whatever reason. Um, and it seems the distillery is still not being used. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more people actually on brewing. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of an experiment. I've got Mix the Farmer um, up here in the Professions tab. What we're gonna do is go ahead, take out all agriculture, and only have brewing. We can see that they are 35 in brewing. They are fairly goddamn good brewers. And I'm gonna take off hauling. So the only thing that this per oh, we've actually got cloth as well. So we're gonna remove cloth as well. Now the only thing that this person should be doing is brewing and I have fruit it says in the distillery the only thing I need is fruit um, and you can see the grown in a farm forage from trees um, and this fruit is sitting in this stockpile or okay so the apples aren't sitting out here anymore but we do have fruit like if I if I click here we can see there's a strawberry right there and this crate is completely full of apples and strawberries now let's see oh my god now it's getting wait see what what just happened there what they went, they went to the distillery, and then they left it. Where, where is Mix? Let's go ahead and pause the game, and let's find Mix. Let's see her, or him, it's actually him right here. Let's follow him, let's see what he's doing. So he's, he's rushing around, um, he looks really funny walking around like this, and, and he's just sitting in the Great Hall. This, sh this really shouldn't be happening, like he's not, he's not eating, um, he hasn't got food, he's not thinking about anything, so he doesn't really want anything, and he's not distilling. Do I have to build new distilleries? Have they just completely broken on me? I think that might be what has happened um, right here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct, um, deconstruct that 
this distillery, the second distillery, and because it's not working at the moment either, if I go ahead and deconstruct it, build a new one, is that going to change what happens? Let's go ahead into um, the workshop area and see what it actually takes to make a distillery. So we need tables and barrels. Okay, so we've got tables. We just need one table and two barrels. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just um, deconstruct these barrels from this um, stockpile because they're not being utilized. We can see that they're like literally all empty. And we only have six drink now, so I really need to get this sorted out. And I hope someone comes to deconstruct this very, very shortly. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue on with this in the next episode. I think that will just about do it for this episode. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. Leave those comments down below. Um, another thing, if you leave your opinion on what type of music you want. Do you want the classical chip tune style that No More has always had? Or do you want this sort of Merry Christmas, orchestral, great sounding, amazing stuff? Either way, I don't really, um, I don't have a preference at the moment. Um, so it's completely up to you guys. Um, it's more important to you, I assume, than it is to me because, I don't know, I'm just not that um, I'm not that fussed about it. So yeah, leave um, leave comments about that, leave comments about anything, and I will definitely go ahead, read them, and reply to as many as I possibly can. I do read every single comment, so do not worry. Um, if you've ever left a comment, I've definitely read it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be that for the episode. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and in the next adventure we're going to have in Nemoria. This distillery, it's getting deconstructed. I am happy. See you guys next time.